so this is going to be a uh, Taurus Sun Moon I as well rising uh, weekly general tarot reading uh, January 26th to February 2nd uh, 2020 and uh, in case you guys are interesting into getting getting in touch with me for a uh, for your personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website now with that being said moving into the Taurus reading for the week this is going to be a string reading meaning seven cards no particular positions whatever they show they show all right so it doesn't get any general than that and uh, the first one here that we do have for you Taurus that is to be the Six of Swords. So the card itself points at this reading. It will be a little bit of in the, uh, how do I say it, on the nervous side, if you will. That is because at certain points, according at least to the Six of Swords, there will be a, a situation which is going to require from you a bit of a courage in terms of decision making and in terms of action making as well. Now, the thing with the Six of Swords, it is that at certain portions of the week, especially at the start of the week, because this is the first card here, you are to sit on a, some sort of a, a, I would say, threshold that needs to be traversed, either in regards to a decision making once again, or in an action making. Now, the thing it is that it will seem like there is a, a big, um, how can I say, a lot in stay there, all right? It's kind of like it will seem that you are risking a lot making any kind of action or any kind of decision. The truth, however, with the Six of Swords, it is that any action or any decision is going to lead you toward a better times if you will than what it is right now so what the card here points is yeah you may sit on that threshold with the certain you know being petrified by fear of the unknown what happens after you make your action you take your action excuse me or you make your decision but in reality there is nothing that you should be afraid of now the next one uh that will be uh the magician card here i will leave the six of swords on my uh, table and we'll just hold on to the magician so the magician card from another standpoint here for the week it does point that there will be a great deal of you learning if you will and also how can i say once you make those actions in those decisions they will help maintaining boosting or regaining as well your personal sovereignty so it's kind of like covering a lot uh, a lot more ground in terms of career and in terms of relationship as well however the week itself based on the magician card it will require from whatever action or decision you make it that thing or this action or decision needs to be I would say supported with a strong determination from your side and also this card here points that the week will require from you to kind of like put your communicational skills into the matter as well because the magician is very good with talk speeches and convincing people into their points of view it's kind of like um, making this whoa um, whoa effect all right mate so making that whoa effect or wow you know effect now the magician here points as well that you're gonna win a lot of followers so many people are to be impressed with for example your vision uh your look your presence the job that you are doing and in generally the skills that you are possessing so maybe those two cards that now that i am talking about skills maybe those two cards could you know represent for example a job that you are afraid to take to take because you think uh, that you can't perform there you're not ready for it while in reality you are completely ready for it so it's like these two cards are asking you for rather a bit more bold actions moving forward into the future career and relationship wise as well so the next one here is going to be the queen of swords we do have a person emer emerging here in the week for you guys what is the queen of swords well queen of swords is very emancipated uh, and in tune and it's kind of like very clever person all right uh, with a, a vast amount of experience from a past endeavors and from past you know situations in general and the thing with the queen of swords is that it has a uh, that experience it's mainly mainly constructed by a, a failures of her behalf or of his behalf because that could be as well a man it may not be just only a woman 
So uh, if that's your ally, then together you can definitely push everything through. I mean, it is how they operate, it's how that person operates. When it manifests itself as a Queen of Swords, everything that needs to be pushed through is capable to be pushed through based on the experience of the Queen of Swords. Okay, if that's your uh, rival or if that's an enemy of yours, then you have a lot to overcome because these people, they are, uh, how can I say it, they are forewarned, okay, so they, they very well know everything about you, what kind of an actions you are going to take, and definitely they have taken a precautionary measures for it. So hopefully this is going to be uh, an ally of yours, and it should be an ally of yours looking at the first two cards, but just in case that's a, uh, an enemy of yours or someone that stands against you, it is best not to provoke them throughout this week. Uh, there is almost no winning against the king and the queen of um, and the queen of swords. Um, another thing is that uh, if that person is involved romantically with you or has some interest to be romantically involved with you, then everything goes through chemistry for the swords suit. Okay, so um, they uh, it's it's important these people to like you physically. It doesn't matter what their emotions they are feeling because, truth be told. They don't feel much of at all um, because they don't allow emotions to rule them at all. So the fourth card here for you, Taurus, is going to be another person. This is what we do have. Uh, Queen of Wands this time around. Now, Queen of Wands, these are very enterprising people, generally uh, uh, team leaders, if you if you want to say it that way, because the Queen of Swords, they are more like a, a lonely wolf, while these, they prefer the, the, the Queen of Wands, it prefers to lead a, a team. So it could be a cooperation where you together are leading your followers. Now, the thing with the Queen of Wands, it is that the Queen of Wands enjoys to have a good life. So likes to party, likes to socialize, but also it demands to be in the center of, uh, of the universe, if you will. It's kind of like the whole attention to be uh, attending to her. And having the magician for you, Taurus, where we do have conflict here because the magician points that all the attention will be attended to you instead. So I do believe that this card here comes more on the negative side where that person is going to be jealous of your advance, of your success and of your achievements that you can kind of cope with or puts into bear throughout this uh, particular week. So if that's the case, well, that person knows you very, very well and it kind of like, um, how can I say it? I yeah, it knows you and also knows very well your pros and cons, or in other words, how to push and press your buttons. Uh, how you can overcome the Queen of Wands? Uh, well, basically ignore the Queen of Wands, ignore that person who is jealous and who just cannot stand being around you. And don't try to make up for whatever relationship in between you two cannot manifest because it will be a completely, completely futile. Now, the next one here, it will be the fifth card and we do have the Tower. So the Tower on its own accord, it is a about transformation that you are also going to undergo throughout this week. And it's kind of understandable with the Magician here going through this difficult threshold and then, you know, making the things happen. And there you go, you do have the transformation. What kind of a transformation is the Tower promising you? Well, uh, in this particular case, the transformation is all about um, rebuilding something uh, into your life. Not that you have lost, all right, but something that you do not like. Like at that particular point. Just to give you an example here, you don't like how your relationship is moving forward, well, you can definitely definitely rebuild that. You don't like how uh, your career is moving forward, you can definitely rebuild that throughout this week. Now, the thing with the Tower Road, however, is that the circumstances which are required so something can be rebuilt are rather quite unpleasant. Okay, so uh, on the flip side, you may not like what you have to do in order to make the buildment of your life or the transformation of your life if you will however the end result of all that it is all about uh, it is always excuse me uh 
with a nurturing and cleansing, healing and growing as well effect upon one's life. On a more practical uh, level, the Tower card, it represents everything that can happen, uh, which is quite unexpected, like a, uh, uh, unexpected pregnancy, having a crush, but we don't have Cups card here. So it's, it's most likely, like I said, a rebuilding a, a field of law of your life but as this is a general reading i'm trying to cover as much as i can uh, with the card so it could be for example unpredicted pregnancy it could be that having a crash it could be some sort of a um, i don't know um accident that you may have because it, it is always accompanied with unpleasant symptoms that is about the tower okay uh, so be prepared for uh, how can i say it for the unexpected uh, i would say have some stored cash aside in case something happened and you need them all right or just don't be overconfident don't be cocky and always expect the worst throughout this week taurus so the uh the sixth card here is going to be the tree of swords and it kind of overlaps with the tower card now tree of swords it does refer to the uh, how can i say it to the negative thoughts that one can have so somewhere um uh, by the end of this week that it is coming uh, you are going to be regretful about certain things that probably were not be able to manifest throughout the week itself as we see that at the start of the week you're going to have huge impulse and the way I see it with the tree of swords is that you do have certain plans goals let's say but not all of those goals could have been manifested throughout the week and now we have your regretful thoughts about it or they did not manifest it the way you wanted them to manifest and the way you have anticipated them to uh, to manifest so with the tree of swords it's very important not to dwell into the negative thoughts all right and not to give yourself to them completely what i mean is that you should not ignore them but instead um make peace with them okay it's kind of like uh, it's very easy accepting that what has been done is done what what happened happened and now the best we can do is to make the most out of it moving forward into the future now on the flip side with the three of swords uh people were very uh, well it's it pretty much the worse the situation is the stronger one becomes with the three of swords especially if one feels that they are back against the wall the backlash that one gives to the uh to the villain here and to the antagonist i'd see it's quite fearsome so it's not something that you're gonna die from guys but it is, at the same time it will cause a little bit of a pain suffering and as well uh, let's say this uh, disappointment and one more thing i want to say about the tree of swords is that it is always always related to a truth okay so whatever causes that disappointment it's true and i'm saying that because as a general reading it could refer to everything maybe you know at the end of the week you are going to find out i'm just saying maybe that's just an example you're going to find out that someone is cheating on you or someone has stole something from you all right or someone is talking behind your back and that is always true and you can't do much about it it is because they it's already happened so the best you can do is just try to exclude it from your life and don't live with it having it dwelling into your mind and the last card that we do have for you uh taurus that is to be the six of cups so that is a fantastic finisher of the week after you overcome those unpleasant symptoms and negative thoughts that you're gonna have throughout the week at the end you get to enjoy the results of your labor six of cups it is that card pointing that you are going to be um actually how can i say it um impressed not happy but impressed was the word that i was searching for with the creative performance you could have incorporated either into your career or either into your relationship or maybe both uh in a more practical level the, the six of cups uh, career-wise this represents that uh, your work moving forward after this transition has taken place uh, it will involve a lot of creative work and a lot of uh, how can I say it enterprises which are going to be quite exhilarating while if we're talking about a an emotional circle you know and relationships and so on and so forth the six of so the six of cups excuse me promises you emotional and physical attachment as well uh, simultaneously that is 
So definitely you're gonna have someone that it is that wants to keep you very, very close around them. And that could be a future suitor here, or, um, you know, how can I say it, a um, an admirer at your work you know or if you do have a relationship that will be uh getting even closer and closer with your current girlfriend or a boyfriend it doesn't really matter the six of cups here points that you are going to be quite pleased with the results of this week and you're gonna find uh or you're going to be able to capitalize fully on the benefits the profits and the happiness that those results are providing for you so that being said Taurus, this was your weekly um general tarot reading uh, February 26th to uh, January 26th, excuse me, to February 2nd, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. Uh, once again, if you are interested in a personal reading, uh, you can check the description down below and there you're going to find my website, the link to my website from which you can schedule a reading, uh, purchase and schedule, that is. And uh, yeah, uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.